But you don't refuse loads. No, I take them from anyone. <laughs> oh, no. I'll help anyone. Any, I'm so kind. Uh, you can take big loads, but from a very small list. No. Ludwig's annoying. <laughs> what the f***? We just recorded an intro, and then he's like, that wasn't good, and redid it. Well, you have to bleep me out anyway, because I swore in the first seven seconds. It makes the whole video get demonetized. Hello, welcome to Wine About It. It's National Girlfriend Day. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. You didn't do anything for me. I'm literally <laughs> recording your podcast with you, and I brought you breakfast and lunch. Yeah, but you should always do that. <laughs> always do your podcast? No. Yeah, everybody. It's true. I kicked Maya off the podcast. I have a brand new co-host, Ludwig. I'm wearing my shirt. Ludwig. Don't say it like Maya says it. Ludwig. I don't like the way Maya says it. She says it with a lot of contempt. Ludwig. And disgust for me. Um, Ludwig's on the podcast this week because Maya's traveling and I asked Prezzo and he flaked on me. Prezzo. What the heck? Wait, did he have a reason? He took Vivans and drank alcohol and passed out. <laughs> Just a normal Monday. That's you ask a me. great excuse. It's a great reason. So Ludwig is here in person because this is this is what I've got. This is my this is my only other friend besides Maya. That's so not he's true. here. Yeah. Uh -huh. No. In person? Yeah. Who? Can I ask the boys? You think I was going to ask Ben and Grayson and Soren if they want to go and whine about it? They would have loved that. No, they wouldn't. Are you kidding me? They do not want to go and whine about it. They, they don't want to be milked for content. Those theater kids? They're, none of them are theater. Ben is the only theater kid. They're, they all exude theater kid energy. <laughs> Soren? He's the least theater kid like, <laughs> yeah. but I also think he could get swayed. No, I don't. He's never even watched a musical. Really? We found out the other night he's never watched 21 Jump Street. Well, that's less weird. But it's a musical. If uh, you think about it. I'm, I am, and it's not. <laughs> anyway, I am quarantining a little bit because I just got back from streamer camp. Mur, 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 mur. And mur, mur, mur. some people like to call it COVID camp. Mur, 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 mur. And she's unvaccinated. So no. <laughs> I am vaccinated. She's very vaccinated. I'm actually not. I never got the booster. Unvaccinated. Unvaccinated queen. Not on purpose. It just <laughs> time got away from me. Yeah, that's what they all say. That's what they all say. Sorry, right. we can we can come out now. It's fine. It's hip. And so because of that, you got COVID. No, I don't know if I have COVID. You have tested negative only. I'm quarantining. But you are sick after somebody else got COVID. So probably have COVID. I think I'm sick, but I can't be sick because I have Taylor Swift this weekend. Drama. I know. So I've decided... If I am sick, that I am kicking everyone out of my box and I'm going to Taylor Swift by myself in a hazmat suit. That's valid. You Thank have you. a box. I have a box. I'm separated from all other humans, um, but I am testing negative. You're testing negative, And I think CDC is if you have COVID, you have to be three days without symptoms or after your symptoms to be chill. So Thursday's your day to feel better. And you've been feeling better because you started worse. I don't even know. You guess you're getting I don't know. symptoms. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm sick or if I'm just having hypochondria. <laughs> yeah, when you told me I genuinely don't that know. you were sick, I spent that night thinking I was sick, and then I was like, oh, I'm not sick. I actually think I'm lactose intolerant now. That could be hypochondria too, I guess. No, I swear. I think I'm lactose intolerant. My sh come out like... Ew. You know that... Uh, oh, I don't know if I want to know. Elephant toothpaste experiment? It doesn't come out like the... Okay. It comes out foamy and bubbly. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It does. It does. No, but, it doesn't. But if I drink hearty Red Bulls, it comes out clean. That doesn't make any sense. What are you saying? It means I'm lactose intolerant. We, we eat just no, you're blaming coffee for this. Because that's when I have lactose. Yeah, so try a cup of milk. Oh, you want to ruin me? Coffee no. Coffee makes people poo. I know that. Okay, so why are you lactose intolerant compared to just having a reaction to coffee? Because I've always drank coffee. Yeah, you've also always had lactose, idiot. Yeah, but it's not abnormal to develop lactose intolerance later in your life. It's also not abnormal for your gut bacteria to shift, and so then coffee affects you more. 
It is true that when I stopped drinking coffee and milk, I, it stopped happening. So it's one or the other. Yeah. But I don't want to believe it's coffee. I'd rather be lactose intolerant than coffee intolerant. I think it's, you're not coffee intolerant. It's normal for people to poop after coffee. Okay. <laughs> My shit ain't normal. Well, go to a doctor. I don't might tell have to. me about it. What? Why? I can't tell my loved one about it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, I'll keep it to myself. My bad. Every time, every time you drink coffee, you poo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not. A, it's like it's not like oh, I had to poo, and it's a normal poo. It's like painful. No, it, it comes out like an elephant toothpaste experiment. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say here. It's just. Doesn't... I don't know what this podcast is about. If I can't speak my truth, I don't know what this podcast is about either. We Wine don't, about it. We don't it. even have wine. Yeah. You're not even my co-host. Okay. Don't get into a crisis right now. I don't even know what right I'm now. doing no, here. I'm not getting into a crisis. <laughs> My hair is not even done. Look at it. It looks great. Ew, yuck. It looks great. I think I want to grow my hair out or shave it. What do you mean grow it out? Like, I don't like, like shaving on the side. No. I don't like shaving on the sides anymore. I want the sides to be long enough that I can do like a like a part like like like. You just want to do the middle part again. Not a middle part. No, I'd, I'd like to do a side part, but that's not so, you know what I mean? That's more like. Like this? You want to be a bo in Boy Meets World. I want... Yes. Yes. I want to be like... Who's Corey's older brother? Sean is his friend. Corey's other brother is... And he also does this. I want to be that guy. I don't know Corey's other brother's name right now. Me neither. That feels weird. I loved Boy Meets World. Me too. Um, well, welcome to learn about it. Hello. Um, I did streamer camp this week and I am exhausted. Yeah, it was a lot of work. I ran myself ragged. That's a phrase. But I found out that I like Leslie Myung and Boxbox. Wow. Didn't mention one of the campers. Cool. Oh. Drama. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good though that you like them. I like them. I like them. Did you not think you would like them going into it? No, I've known. I've, I've always liked them, but now getting to know them more, I think they're pog champion. Could do without Albert. That's so mean. Don't care for him. He's so quirky. <laughs> I actually love Albert. He's so quirky. Uh, my favorite conversation at Abe and Wendy's wedding. Oh, <sighs> a conversation I remember vaguely with Albert at a certain location. He was like, Ludwig, do you play Valorant? And I was like, yep. And he's like, oh, man, what's your rank? And I was like, plat. And we like talked for like two two minutes. And he's like, great. I want to add you when I get home. I'm like, cool. And he's like, that's all I have to say. And then he just turned slightly. <laughs> like he didn't leave. He just like went 90 degrees. And I was like, okay, Albert. <laughs> and it was very sweet. He's so funny. He does, a, he does these same bits a lot. He'll be like, chat, if you can hear me, type H and then type H. I and then they all say hi and then he says hi chat. <laughs> it's cute. It's very funny. You got a couple good ones. He has some good ones. Um, but I mean, sp speaking of, Maya's not on here. We can talk about drama. She doesn't Whoa. let me talk about drama. It's time to talk about drama. Squeaks is actually bald. What? He's been wearing a toupee this whole time. He's bad at chess, is what he is. We did. We just watched his chess game and it was awful. So it's embarrassing to watch the man. Um, no, I was, I was obviously, obviously I'm talking about Wendy and Abe, very sad situation, Yeah. um, which we don't need to unpack, but no. my question, yeah, let's unpack it. Um, what do you think happened? Just kidding. <laughs> Leave it for XQC stream, please. Uh, no, if we ever broke up, would you make a mogul mail? <laughs> Our breakup isn't a big enough headline to make a mogul mail. It's not about that. Wow, rude. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't. I would hate that. You know, I always thought because I watched some David Dobrik when I was younger, and I always thought the lamest thing about David Dobrik is that, that his most viewed video was his breakup with Liza Koshy because they were two mega YouTubers, and it had like twenty million views, and it's them crying, and I was like, this is so whack. It should. You know. I do think it's dumb to do a breakup video. And there was like both of them, like it felt like I was a child and I was like, I'm 23. <laughs> I don't need this. Uh, so I, this, this, I would, would, I would only do what I feel similarly. So if we were to break up, I'd just drop like a threads about it. 
and then I'd be off the grid. Yeah, I would just post on Reddit. I think I'd fly to Japan. You talked next about that. Day. You said, Have I said this? Uh, yeah, you said if we broke up, you'd go to Japan for like six months. I think so. Wow, Ooh. I'm consistent. What about Coots? What about Coots? She comes. No. <laughs> I fly private. No. Like like uh, PewDiePie. What? He's some issue where he couldn't fly with his dog and he had to fly private to get his dog to Japan. And I would do that for Coots. You wouldn't get Coots. I I definitely do. I'm no, sorry. You don't. I'm sorry. You I'm, don't. I apologize. Coots. I do. You don't get coots. I don't know why you're on this. What do you mean? My hair. I look so. The crazy thing is, I straightened my hair, and then we watched Squeaks play. We watched Squeaks play XQC. XQC, and then turned into this, which is impressive because it was a very short match. I know. I don't know. My hair. Something's it's wrong. Out. It's it's a weather. I think I'm gonna get um a. Um, like Brazilian blowout or whatever. That is f- chill. They like it, like okay. straightens your hair for like a month or something. Cool. But it has formaldehyde in it and can give you cancer. Whoa. So have a coffee though. Not formaldehyde, but cancer. Really? Carcinogens. Mm, I don't think you're right. I am. Why do I drink coffee then? Because you're addicted. You like the energy. Uh, well. There's a lot of evils we accept. Anyway, just um, I might have to get that done because my hair is just too crazy. Brazilian blow. Every every video I see myself in recently, uh, my biggest thing that I hate is my hair. It looks so. It just also my roots are dark, so it automatically looks greasy. When it's not, this is clean hair. You're clean. I just look. I look like a girl who hasn't showered. Feels good on the scalp all the time. You showered. I know, but I just look dirty. I don't think people are thinking about it. They are. Spotlight effect. Um, anyway, I get coots. No, I, if we broke up, what? Cause you paid. Yeah. I bought coots. I'll demo you right now. Okay. Just kidding. Don't. <laughs> I'll just, I'm going to randomly Venmo you one day and I'm going to be like, she's mine now. That's not how it works. Then why does it work that you paid? So you get her. Cause I did pay. And so, so if I Venmo you, it's the same thing. If I, Venmo you 400 bucks right just right now randomly then I if we break up I get your PC <laughs> That shit is way more than $400. No, not after deflation D- d- You've used all, it. Yes, that's still more than 400. No, it's like a car uh, the minute you use it It's worth okay. less. Well, there is an argument to be made that if you paid me the exact value of a shared commodity Coots has gone up in price. She's famous. Okay. You don't have that like that. <laughs> uh, name a number. One million dollars. I'm out. Take Durs, my cat. No, you don't get Durs either. I, I, so to me, it, the capital is irrelevant. It shouldn't be who's paid. It's who's who 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 Coots would have the best home with. Me. And I think that we both give her a great home. No. But I think that she likes me more than you. No. You, you don't ex- think that? You exploit her for content. I exploit her for content and I exploit her for love. I give her love all the time. Do you actually wait? Who do you think she likes more? Me. Are you being dead ass? Yeah. You think Coots likes you <laughs> yes, more? Yes, I do. You think Durs likes you more than me? Yes. Okay. So it's like she probably just sits on my stomach because she doesn't <laughs> ever sit on Durs does not. Durs never sits on my stomach. Durs likes men more than women, but likes me more than you. I agree with you. I just can't believe you have this take about Coots. You want to separate Coots from her family? Swift and Durs? That would happen regardless. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. She wouldn't notice. Look, I don't even want to have this conversation. It's sad. If we were to break up, my tweet would spill all the tea. I'd be like, what he tea? never puts the seat down. I never put it up. And that's... He never puts the seat up. <laughs> he never puts the seat up and that's why we broke up. Why would you want the seat I'd up? I'd spill all the tea. I'm like so tea-less. Well, if we broke up, uh, there would be tea. Okay. There's always a reason people break up. You can spill tea. I have no tea. I wouldn't spill tea. I know you wouldn't spill tea because you respect me. I do. I don't respect you. Oh, that's hurtful. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I actually do. Maya prepared questions for you. What? She prepared them for Prezzo, <sighs> but I think, you know. Fuck with Maya. Let me just call her real quick. Maya? Uh, no, we don't have to. Dude, I signed up for Citizen, which I shouldn't have. I don't know what that means. You don't know what the Citizen app is? 
Oh boy, the Citizen app is this app where people like all the police reports go. Uh, anything in the LA area gets reported. So it tells you like a man reported with an axe running down Hollywood Boulevard. Seems like a bunch of anxious people on that app. Yeah, uh, heavy smoke and fire from Santa Monica. Um, vehicle collision in Venice. It just keeps. It's it just crazy goes. to have it for all of LA. Train collision with vehicle. Well, I don't know in LA Pomona. Is so large. I know. I don't know how to turn it off. Oh, it's because I won't give it my location. Oh. Good vibes. Some of them is good news, but anyway. So I'm just sitting here, and it's like. It says missing girl headed is possibly headed to Koreatown in a black shirt wearing white Jordans. Hmm. And it's just like, I need to figure out. I need to. You need to turn it off. I need to turn it off except for it. within. I need to like figure out how to do my location because it's giving me quite literally all of California. Um, I'm calling Maya. Right now? Yeah. She's with her stupid family. Maya sent me a really nice text the other day. She was like, thanks for basically saving all this. Did she ever give you the monkey painting? She didn't give me shit. She scammed you? Yeah. Not to mention the shroud hour, which I figured out, but. She's not Your call has been forwarded to an automated Your voice messaging sucks. system. Dude, she doesn't even work. I swear mm, to God. Nobody will say it except for me. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I do it. <laughs> you're working too hard is what you're doing. I'm going to fire her. That was um, next one. If you she calls Prezzo. me back, if she calls me back, I'm firing her. Whine about it, you Prezzo. Weed about it. Take it over. Who wants to return a weed about it? What are you doing? I'm trying to find the questions oh, she okay. sent. Am I supposed to stall or something? Yeah. Honestly, I'm a little out of it, so I'm struggling to podcast today. Yeah. It's Sorry. Right. We're only one fifth way through, so. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Um, no, I, I just, I just, it's just hard. I haven't done a podcast in person with another person sitting right next to me in a, many, many times. Yeah, but we like sit next to each other and talk a lot. Not, not performatively Honey. like this. Ah, we watched Lily and Michael Reeves last night on Lily's vlogs. I love Lily's vlogs, by the way. Um, but they call each other honey. And I said, only they can pull off honey. And Lud's like, I can call you honey. And I'm like, no, you can't. Honey, I can definitely pull Shut it off. Up. I'm doing it well. You sound like an asshole when you no, do I it. No, I don't. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. It's not like I'm saying toots. No, you're saying it like a... Hey, a, sweetheart. You're saying it like a gay man. Sweetheart, sweetheart. What? You're like a honey. No, <laughs> I don't say that. Uh-huh. I don't sound gay. Yeah. No? Yeah. Is This is like what I, happened to me when I played Call of Duty in the ninth grade. Ludwig was call, comparing Taylor Swift easter eggs to call of duty zombies <laughs> yeah it's the same thing you, it's not it's I, I think a very generic look that doesn't describe everyone is that call of duty zombies is for boys taylor swift lore is for girls and it's the same exact experience what do you mean lore when you i played call of duty zombies yes there's an insane amount of lore what Look, that there's look, zombies I'll give you and an you example. just have to shoot them until you you're lose like me. or win you're like me i'm like i've listened to blank space and then, and then you're like, no, you don't get it. You don't get it. That's not what I said. I, it basically is what you said. Yes. Because you can play Call of Duty Zombies and never even understand a drip of the lore. But every single map has an overarching Easter egg that if you do unlock storylines from the main characters, that tr like it, and it continues through every single map, through every single game. And it's this huge overarching story with an immense amount of lore attached to it. And a lot of the times it's worth doing the lore because they'll give you like... Like I remember on Moon, when Moon came out, if you do the lore quest, you get perma perks, which is crazy because then like you go wicked fast, you get the shoot guns, reload, and uh, and if you get down, you keep them if you get re-upped. Re well, no, this isn't lore. These this like, okay, for example, everybody found out last night, Taylor, in um, in her tour in the US, it ends on... August 9th, right? 89. And if you count how many cities she's been to in the U.S. tour, it's 19. So she ends after 19 cities on 8-9, which just everyone thinks that means she's going to announce the date of 1989 at the last show. So it's not lore. It's just a clue of when she's going to announce the next album. It's an Easter egg. 
they don't have that in Call of Duty Zombies. I think literally, yeah. Like I think no! there's probably elements that you could find in like, what's the ice map called? I'm thinking Icebox because Valorant. But you don't know an shit. And the ice map that might leak like Shangri-La. No. They connect. No. It's the same. It's the same. It, who, no. There's one person who, there's many, there's probably like 30 of you who have a crossover of playing Call of Duty Zombies lore and Taylor Swift lore who can attest to whether I'm right or wrong on this. And then they'll be the truth tellers. You trust YouTube commenters? Always. Everything they say is correct and wrong. Okay, here's my question. This is for Prezzo? F Mary Kill, Young Jeff, Hassan's dog, and JHB. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maya wrote it. What the hell? For Prezzo. What a terrible question. Why? Oh, kill Hassan's dog. <gasps> what do you mean, huh? You marry her. I'm not going to marry a dog. Yeah. That would be you weird. You don't kill a dog. You don't marry it. You don't have to have cons you don't have to consummate with it. You can marry it and cheat on it all you want. I would never have a marriage I don't consummate. Ew. I don't believe in that. He's a pervert. I'd be a married man. Now you want a, a dog? I literally said to kill it because of this. <sighs> Who are the other options again? Young Jeff and JHB. <laughs> I think I'd marry JHB. And then whatever the last one is. You would f whatever the last one, whatever the last one is. Why wouldn't you marry him? He's a good lad. I didn't say that. I'd rather marry JHP. Why? Because I think he'd be like good to me. You think JHP would treat you nice? I think he'd treat me nice. How come? Here's a question. I someone in your Discord pinged me and then I banned them because I was like, don't bother me. When you were doing a <laughs> Q and A stream. Okay. And they were like, at Cutie Cinderella, he won't answer if he wants to marry you, but he'll tell chat his dick size, little W. Did you tell chat your dick size? Yeah, two inch. Soft. You told them that? Yeah. Is your dick two inches soft? Maybe one and a half. Maybe three. I Is it? Know. It varies. Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. You yeah, I said that. You, you told them that. Yeah. But you wouldn't even just say, when they say, when are you going to marry cutie? You wouldn't just say maybe someday? Well, I guess that would be a good cop-out answer, but I was trying to be like more honest. So instead you lied about like, your Like if they size? said size, I couldn't be like, like bigger than an inch. And that counts. Like that would be lame. <laughs> Smaller than a foot. <laughs> like I was trying to be more honest in my answers. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I like to keep my personal life personal. Like I'm not very public about it. And so I was like, chat, you're not privy to uh, when This guy I contradicts himself sometimes. Yeah, I do. But I was like, you guys <laughs> are not privy to when I marry someone that's like you would find out last. Like they're not going to know before my mom. Sorry. Sorry, sweaties. <laughs> Sorry about it. I guess if that makes me a criminal, lock me up. Did you know, you know, my sister. Yeah. Which Did one? My, my sister, sister. Right. The white one. Sister, sister. She has brown hair. Yeah. Um, my sister, when she got engaged, my brother-in-law, you know him? The bald one? I do know your brother-in-law. They're all bald. Uh, my brother-in-law called my dad to like get permission. He was like, hey, I would love to take you to lunch or dinner. I need to talk to you about something. My dad's like, my dad's like, meet me here. It gives him an address. It's a McDonald's. <laughs> he buys my dad two McGriddles and asks him if he can marry my sister. So funny. Nice. My dad's the best. That's two McGriddles on the house. My dad is so funny. Yeah, he's very funny. I wish he lived here. In here? Yeah. Would you let my dad move in? Yeah. If I wanted him to? Yeah. That'd be cool. We, we would, would party. Change things a lot. You would he would he would have to live in my stream room. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be interesting. <laughs> for sure. I would but not. I'd be and he doesn't need to live with us anytime soon. I also don't think he would be the, we would be the choice. I think he would live with grandkids before mm. us. Yeah. I think we'd bore him. No. All he does is play ping pong. Yeah, but you're busy. <gasps> oh my God. What? I just realized he asked me to send him some ping pong pads and I never did. And a ping pong robot. And I never did. Well, I need to do that tonight. Do it tonight. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, another question oh, from Maya questions. to Prezzo. Maya. Describe your brand. Thank you. 
I don't know why she wrote what that. What a cringy question. I don't know where she got that. Describe your brand? Yeah, what's your brand, oh mogul God. male? This is like what they ask at a VC no, meeting. No, uh, listen, this is from my respected co-host. I love her very much. Her question so far was like, do you want to fuck a dog? And then what's your brand? So, That's my best friend. Yeah. Thanks. I would say it's... Um, uh, pass. 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 I'll take a shot of hot sh sauce for this one. Drink your wine. Drink mm. your wine. Oh, it's so it's moonshine. Clear. Yeah, it's such a clear moonshine. She wanted to ask, what is your passion? What's my passion? What do you think my passion is? Making content. What else do you think I'm passionate about? Taking care of your friends. Yeah. Uh, do you think I have anything else? I'm not testing you. I'm asking. No. I think those are up there. Uh, I think right now I have a short-term passion of motorcycling. Oh, gosh. I'm in my motorcycle phase. I don't like it. My motorcycle phase? Yeah. Why? It's dangerous. Yeah, for sure. Super if you dangerous. die, I'll be so lonely and sad. Yeah. Nobody to take coots from you, though. Yeah, I'd marry another man and he would take coots from you. Well, from you, I'm saying. I want to take coots from Oh, you. I thought you said from you. No, no, I'd be dead. Uh, yeah, I don't plan on dying on it, the motorcycle. Well, no one ever does. Yeah, but like I really don't plan on it. You know, I, I'm, I have a six-month motorcycle phase till I motorcycle across Japan. I got to get my gear. You haven't done that? No, I haven't done it, but I have an appointment. And then what? And then I ride. I thought you were supposed to go to like Seattle with Michael Reeves or something. Well, we're doing like weekly rides right now. When? We went last week around LA. We're going probably Thursday this week. Where? Uh, do I, I didn't know you were doing this. Yeah, I do. I go with Michael and we motorcycle around. What a weird, that's such a guy's thing because you don't have to talk. Well, you can actually, you can get Bluetooth and sync it up and I'm going to get that. And you talk to each other? While you ride, yeah. Uh, so weird. Oh, I can't leak what it is, but oh. it said it's a cool thing. This is what it's called. Huh. So, yeah, we're going to ride around. I'm going to get better at it, and then I'm going to go motorcycling across the country. In Japan. Woohoo! Yeah. You don't know when, though. Well, I, I, I don't want to, like, give myself a date. I'd rather feel comfortable riding first, and I want to do PCH. That's the Seattle. Thing. That's the one that goes to Seattle. Yeah, but it doesn't go to Seattle. It goes to Mendocino, California. Mendocino Farms. That's, I think, maybe where the name comes from. I don't know. Maya wants to know, why did you start streaming? This is for Prezzo. Why did you start? She doesn't give a fuck about me. Why? Maya would not care about my answer to this. I don't even think Maya knows that we're doing this right now. Probably not. This, this is my was idea. my, yeah, this was my backup. Don't call me that. Well, cause I I'd like to think I'm more, I felt bad having you do it. I'm nervous that shadow looks like a nipple. It's not a nipple. It'd be crazy if my nipple was over here. It's not her nipple. It's not my nipple. I'm also wear pasties. I'm, I look so pale. I don't like this lighting. Um, audio listeners. He's not tan. What? <laughs> I played basketball against fear and yeah, that's not against fear. And that's about against will and Hassan. Well, I'm saying we are a unit. Yeah, but I would dice you. No. I would mix your shit. No. Uh, you would fall to the ground like the Sphinx's nose. No. <laughs> uh, and Austin wouldn't stand a chance. No. Uh, Austin's fast. He's yeah. got great cardio. Yeah, for sure. You don't. What? Great cardio. I have decent cardio. I, it's the difference between decent and great. That's fair. I've been running. When? Like in the mornings. Running. Yeah, went well, two days ago. Okay. I go at least once a week. Okay. You didn't. I ran. I don't know. You don't know what I do. I've been you so don't busy. Care. I don't even know my name right now. I don't even care about. Oh my! Don't say that. I don't even care. Yes, I do. I don't want to be around anymore. Oh my God! Don't <laughs> say that, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, but I beat Will in a one v one. That's good for your brand i now have to admit i was a bit grimy why well there's like some decorum in a 1v1 that i'm familiar with and i broke every code what is it you know like you check out the ball 
like yeah. at the start, I was like checking very disrespectfully. Like I would slam the ball on the ground in front of them and then, and then it to like pick it up or like I would like put it out here and they'd reach for it and then I'd throw it to the left, make them walk and get it. I was being a menace to Hassan and Will. Oh, and I was fouling a lot. That's sad. Well, I actually really didn't know what a foul was to be honest. Oh, like I know when I see the sport, when I'm playing, it's a lot different. Cause like yeah. Hassan's running at me shirtless. Ew. Yeah. And he's so wet and sweaty. Yeah. Yes. So he like slips and he's like 250 Ew. pounds of man. He's just slippery little so I'm trying to contain slithering. him. And then he like bumps into me and I like lose my breath and I have to like get my balance. So I keep pushing him and he's like, no, it'll push me. I'm like, bro, how is your ass allowed to do that? But I can't push off it. Yeah. You just have to use elbows. Apparently. But then I did that. I was doing elbows and then like Will goes like, like a boxer. He starts weaving and dodging and then his head hits my elbow. He's like, you can't Ow. do that. And I was like, I don't know how to contain y'all. So I was learning. It was hard. It was very hard, but I'm excited for our match. When is it ever even going to happen? September, I think. Maybe October. My tongue hurts. Maya wants to know who you think the hottest male streamer is. The hottest male streamer? Uh-huh. Hmm. I should have looked at these questions. Maya, these are bad questions, even for Prezzo. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think Prezzo was going to say when I said, what is your brand? Maya, what was your thought? Yeah, that's a weird one, Maya. <laughs> We're all judging you. I think the hottest male streamer, maybe Northern Lion. He's like a charming older man. Wow. Bit of a fox. Wow. Uh, shit. I, Tarek? Tarek's a handsome man. Tarek's handsome. What do you, what do you want me to say? Handsome. You want me to say he is ugly? Tarek's so ugly. What the hell? Don't say that about exactly. my Exactly. What do you want me to say? No, I, I was meaning Connor's the handsome. Sea dog. You forgot about handsome. him. Handsome. Nah, I didn't forget. <sighs> I think Tarek's more handsome than Connor. Drama. It's not drama to say that. I think Connor's handsome. I think Tarek's more handsome. This is mean. It's not mean. You're being mean. Well, who do you think the most handsome male streamer is? Most handsome. Mm. Handsome also a interesting word because it's not cute, it's not hot, it's handsome. Handsome. There's an element of class to that. Clint Stevens, baby. Wait, what, what a cop out. Why? A cop out He's answer. handsome. Well, you've been s just singing this tune for twenty years now. Me? Yeah. Yeah. At least I'm consistent. Means I'm not lying. Do you fair. think? Do you think? What is your opinion on? uh real public relationships what do you mean so as you know there are many people in the industry that lie about having a boyfriend or a girlfriend what? if it's a guy no one accuses them of anything if it's a girl they accuse them of baiting simps by saying they're not in a relationship even though they are uh -huh. do you have any opinion on that i mean i think the simps are dumb unless it's a case where it's somebody who's like specifically making content that caters itself to that. Like e-dating? Yeah. Like their content is just e-dating, but the whole time they have a boyfriend? Yeah. Do you think Do you think people owe it to their audience to tell them about relationships? If they're e-dating or in general? In general. No. It's your life. It's personal. That's how I feel too. Even if you're e-dating to an extent, you don't really owe it. But like, I get why people flame you if it comes out. Yeah, I don't think you owe it at any point just because a lot of the time, like it's showbiz, baby. It's showbiz, yeah putting on a character chances are like even when you're e-dating you're not actually e-dating these people you're just flirting for pretend yeah for entertainment but like i'd understand why people would flame if it came out because then it ruins it is funny experience. though because they they'll Presumably. flame innocent like people that don't lead their audience on in any sort of way they announce that they're in a relationship and people flame yeah i mean that's it's cringe i think it's crazy because people are cringe are you excited to go to taylor swift this weekend maybe yeah why don't make that face? I want the secret song to be something from debut. No. Back to December. Oh, yeah. that's this not time. from debut. That's from Speak Now. I would love if that was it. Taken She's though. She's already done I know. that one. Did she mess it up though? No. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think it'll be fun. I am basically like a. I feel like a Sherpa 
on your mushroom trip. Huh? You you never you ever hear about that? When you take mushrooms, you need a Sherpa, a spiritual Sherpa. You're not Sherpaing me. Yeah, I am. How? In the sense that I'm just going to make sure you have a good time. Nobody's on your ass. If anything's wrong, I'll take care of it. And I'm just going to like... Unlike when I went with my family. I was so stressed. Yeah, my like, dad was stressing me the heck out. If someone's like, hey, uh, where's the pizza? I'll, I, it's not like you figure that out. I'll figure that out. And I'll be like, oh, I'll get pizza. It's okay. Just wait. It's like, do we have drinks? And I'll be like, I'll, I can get us drinks. It's fine. I've already ordered food. I know, but like <laughs> hypotheticals. Uh, what well, can I, uh, my friend's late. Can you get him in? I'll be like, yeah, sure. I can do that. And then you can just enjoy it is my plan. So I'm your sure. Well, I appreciate that. I'm a hero. <laughs> your outfit is not going to come in time and your backup outfit isn't going to come in time. What if I just wear this? No, I have my bracelet. No, that's a Fitbit. <laughs> Idiot. How many steps do we got this week? Everybody. I'm supposed to do 12.5 K a day. If you had to kill one of the boys from the yard, who would what it be? What the frick? You have to kill them. Uh, in the eyeballs. Aiden. Why? I would stab him in the heart with a knife. Why? To kill him. Why? Oh, because the hypothetical. Why? Because you asked it. But why him? Oh, because he's the most killable. <laughs> It'd be the funniest if he died. It'd be the funniest <laughs> if he died and oh my we gosh. kept him on the podcast, but it was his dead body with sunglasses. Like Weekends at Bernie's. It's the only person we could get away with that. And um, who? I think he would be the most okay with it too. Yeah. So. No, I think Slime would be fine. Um, Yeah, but we really need him for the podcast. You do need so, him. I can't get rid of Slime. I agree. So that's my list. Who would you kill? You're the big yard fan. I would kill Maya. What the hell? She's my only co-host. No, I mean on the yard. Oh. I haven't watched the last two episodes. Actually, I'm behind. It's okay. I don't like when you listen to the yard. Why? I don't know. He never listens to whine about it. I don't. I did for a while. I don't blame you. It's not. Um, Sorry. No, I don't. I think you guys are. Well, actually, when I do tune in, which is oftentimes clips or clicking on the thumbnail and then listening to a section, you guys are so down on yourselves. Huh? Sometimes you guys are down on yourselves. Yeah, we have depression. Well, like the podcast as a whole, like as a product. Oh, well, I think like here's my problem is I'm a very busy girl and I don't have time to breathe. And then sometimes you get to the podcast and it's not doing very well or the conversation isn't flowing very well. And it's hard not to beat yourself up because at the end of the day, we're our own worst enemies. We set our own high bar. And if it's not entertaining, then it's not entertaining. I don't even I don't even know if this is a good episode because I'm so out of it. This episode right now? Yeah. I'm killing it. You don't think we aren't? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think we aren't. Let's. We should farm more parasocial relationship frogs. I don't know if that's what we should. What do. should? <laughs> what should we talk about? Having babies? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joking. How I don't want to. I don't want to talk about having babies. How many babies? Yeah, it stresses you out more than me. It stresses me out because I have a biological clock I and don't. men don't. I don't have a clock. Stupid ass Robert Robin had a baby at 90 years old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my clock's infinite. Men stay winning. Yeah, on that front. Well, you donated your sperm once. I don't know if people know this story or oh, you yeah, attempted to. It. Well, maybe not the wine about it, audience. I think this I is... Have... I don't know. I think about this. If you were to have a baby out there because you donated your sperm, I don't know if I could... <laughs> I don't know if I could feel content with that. What do you mean? It's not your call. It's my baby. My I'm, baby, my choice. I don't know if I would. And it's not like you can go and abort it now. I'm saying like, I don't know. I don't know if I would get into a relationship with someone that had a baby out there. Why? Because it feels like a lot of stress. For you? Mm-hmm. Why? Because you never know when they want to figure out their biological f person. Okay. But then it'd be my relationship to figure out with my baby boy or baby girl. <laughs> Not if we're married. Then I'd be like, this is your, this is, this I is I mean, I wife. like most people, so I'd probably be fine. I'd probably get along They'd be with a kid. Them. Yeah, but kids can be annoying as hell. <laughs> I, uh, well, I never donated my sperm all the way, so I can't have a kid out there unless they took it without telling me, which would be like pretty unethical. And I think I would get to sue for a lot. But yeah, I did donate like twice. Uh, what do you mean you didn't donate twice you finish your the, tell the full story 
Well, I was people poor. at home don't know he I was, was poor. Poor. I needed money, and you couldn't just get a job. And I, well, I was trying to find <laughs> a job. I was yeah. applying to. It's really hard to get a job when you don't have a job. If you if you aren't willing to just accept any old job on the street, like if you want yeah. to get one for your degree, and uh, and the issue is like if you take any old job then you become a little complacent and then you never get the job for your degree because it's yeah. hard enough to work the job. You're just working at a freaking Best Buy. That's what of, I was doing. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, you know what? Freaking let me pause. I have a bit of savings. Freaking. Let me start making some money on the side and sperm donation paid like it paid decent. Like you could get $75 per load and you could <laughs> donate up to like. I hate that sentence per load. Per cum drop. Ew. What, how do you want me to phrase it? Per donation. Okay. You can get $75 per donation of load. And Ew. You, can, you can drop th three hot loads a week. Ew. I don't know Stop. what I'm saying. That's weird. I don't know what Stop. I'm saying. It's weird. And so that, if you do the math, pretty quickly adds up. It's 225 a week, four weeks a month. You're making like damn near a rack uh, uh, a month which would have covered rent for me. And so I was like, Ooh, this is kind of, how nice. did you find the place? You just Googled it. Yeah. I Googled I, like, you just, I don't know if you like want to make money. You just, the first thing you do is like how to make money mm -hmm. and it's like drop ship. And it's like, Ugh, it sounds like a nightmare or donate sperm. I think you can also donate plasma. Yeah. For money now. Donate plasma. Uh, no, you've been able to donate plasma before you could donate sperm. It's crazy that you jumped to sperm because most people go plasma. Well, the sperm one's funnier, so I think that's wait, my, why maybe. But the requirements are crazy. The place mm -hmm. I went to is like you have to be five nine. You need a college degree. How do they let you in? <laughs> I, I hate you. He's not tall. Um, you have to have a college degree. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's some other requirements, but that's. I'll Google it. I want to see. It depends on the place. They differ. Like some are stricter, some are looser. Um, and so you go in. In the first appointment, you donate your sperm. And they test it, I think, for like STDs to see if it's like kosher. And uh, and then I think they also like eye check you like to see like if you pass. If you're like good enough looking? Yeah, kind of. Like if you're tall enough. Like if you say which, if you are what you say you, you are, you can make up to fifteen hundred in LA a month. Yeah, inflation, prices up, baby, wages up. Come on, let's go. Um, and then, so they had me, they had me go into a room, and it's like you know the doctor's room when you're growing up at a pediatrician, and they have like the chair with like the white parchment on it. Yeah, they had the same chair, and then a bunch of old porn mags, and then like a CRT and a DVD player. And Ew. the wall was paper thin. So I could hear the person who I talked to flirt with this woman who was working there. And they're like flirting with each other. And I'm in here and I'm supposed to jerk off. It was easily the hardest nut I've ever had to squeak out. Ew. And they give you this cup and the cup's like huge, like comparatively. Like a it's red like, solo cup? No, it's not that big. It's like a, it's like a pill cup, but it's like a, it's like extra Tylenol. It's like Tylenol plus. Like a pee bottle. Like the one yeah, that you usually fill like with that. pee. And it's like this big ish mm -hmm. and, and I'm and like, you're supposed to, you know, come in it and then yeah. seal it. And you're supposed to like get, get like everything in the cup. Do you have to like give it to the person? They can just like see your volume of cum. They, yes. So you don't just put it. Cause usually when you pee, you like put it in a cupboard and then close the cupboard. And like, so what I did is I had to f try to do this. It was the toughest nut I ever did get it done. And then get all in the cup. And it's not like of an impressive amount, to be honest. It was like pretty low, but I was like, whatever. And <laughs> then you put it in like a, one of those blue UV light things. Mm -hmm. And so like there's two doors to it. One that's my side, one that's oh, my side. Oh, okay. So I put it in and it sterilizes. And then I think they play with it later. They don't play with it. They like whatever they do. With yeah. The and uh, then I went home and they're like, you STD free. And I was like, that's crazy. Because 54% of the society has, what's it called? HPV. It, no herpes that's that hpv i thought that was human isn't it virus. isn't that herpes no it's genital warts i believe if i remember my pediatrician correctly but i don't i don't know okay anyway that was sesh one come back sesh two and they gave me a gift card how much it's like 25 bucks great easy sesh two i go in 
and they're like, okay, this time we're going to check your sperm for fertility and see how many swimmers you got. So I bust out round two. It was easier that time. Did you watch something? Yeah, I, I had to use my phone. Oh, okay. I could not because the magazines were ancient. And, yeah, and, and like, probably crispy. Yeah, they were very crispy <laughs> when you opened them. Um, and then turns out I was super high percentile swimmers. I'm fertile as hell. That's not good. It's very good. Not for us. Why not? Because I don't want to get pregnant right now. Well, yeah, but then you just use contraception. But like it would it, it would be really bad if I was It'd infertile, be bad if you're right. Infertile. Like it's worse to be infertile and you're want right. a baby than you're fertile right. and not want a baby. You're right. So anyway, round two, they're like, Wow, great job, Mr. Algren. Your <laughs> swimmers are there. Did you tell your mom you were doing this? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. If I did, she would have been chill with it. She's been very supportive of anything I want to do. Um But then you have to fill out like the final survey. So after I found out, like they gave me a fifty dollar gift card this time. Huge. And then you go in for the final survey. And if you go in for the final time, they give you like a hundred dollar gift card or something. So like really incentivized to go in. So I go in, I start filling it out and it's like, first off I had to come with a bunch of baby pictures and pictures throughout my life. Cause you get like, a Oh, so when you're shopping for a sper sperm donor, you can get, Oh, that's so interesting. And you get like a little payday for every picture you provide. It's oh like my God. How cool. So if I provide like a picture from, I kind of want to shop for a sperm donor, even though I don't need one. Right, just to it see just what it's like. It just seems like an interesting experience, yeah. Uh, so you provide pictures and then like a little blurb about yourself. Mm -hmm. And then the final, final question is the stressful one. How many pictures did you provide? I, I think I had like four, but like I was able to provide more later. I yeah, I, okay. I was, I was like, you have a lot of pictures. I'm surprised. It's like whatever I had at the moment. Yeah. And then the final question that they ask is like, okay, well, the final thing is just if you want to check off if you would like for your child to reach out when they turn 18 and if they want the, if you want to give them your contact info. Weird. And that was really stressful because I was yeah. like 22 and I was like, Jeez. I don't know. Yeah. That's a lot to deal with. So I think I answered yes, but then it scared me from ever going back. So I never went back. But they couldn't use your old sperm or they could? No, because they used it to test already. They they used it to test my fertility. They didn't like test and then freeze it? No, they used it to test. You're sure? Maybe not, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because mm. like you're not allowed to... I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm almost positive. He doesn't know. I don't know. Maybe there's a little me running around. And he that was it. He doesn't know. And then I never went back in and I never got paid doing that. I just lasted and I got a job at a vape company <laughs> and I sold nicotine to children. It's just very cool. What? Almost donating sperm school? No, selling nicotine to children. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. <laughs> that is cool and tight. I want to get some menthols. No. You know they're illegal in the state of California? Why? Menthols, because vaping kind of ruined it for smokers. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay, I broke something. Sorry. Probably just cracked something. Uh, Because flavored cigarettes aren't allowed. You can only have tobacco flavored oh, right. cigarettes. So even if it's mint, it doesn't. Yeah, which sucks because menthol crushes are fun. What does that mean? Yeah, it's like a menthol. And then in the filter, they have a little ball of just like like mint flavor. Uh -huh. And it, you, it, you when you pinch it really hard, it crushes and it releases all the mint. Uh -huh. And then whenever you inhale, it goes through the mint and it like Ooh, fun. really wakes you up. And it's really fun. You shouldn't be advertising this. And you shouldn't use it. I've never smoked a cigarette my entire life. I've smoked like several. I've never tried nicotine my entire life. When my girlfriend in college cheated on me, mm -hmm. I immediately bought a pack of cigarettes. Because <laughs> I thought it'd make me feel better. It's so edgy. Yeah, I was. When my... Uh, when my <laughs> I smoked him in my dorm. By yourself? My roommate was like, what the fuck are you doing? Because I like put a towel underneath. So the smoke wouldn't get in. It's so and weird. And I opened a window. And Why I'm didn't just you just go outside? Because I, I, it was my room, my fucking, <laughs> my room, my, my cigarette. I um, I was going through my edgy phase when one of the boys I dated cheated on me, and so I, I was 21 at the time because I was old enough to buy alcohol. Um, so I got a fifth of whiskey got my guitar and went to the park and played Adele songs and got plastered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have like a jar out? No, I was just by myself. There was like no one at the park. That's funny. How many Adele songs do you know how to play? Quite
quite a few actually really yeah it's impressive yeah i was just sitting there playing adele songs humming them what's the one uh, my favorite adele songs from 19 i think it's chasing pavements chasing pavements is that it no 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 need to look no further if it's wrong no. and right is that it it's the one that goes from my hometown may and maury that's, ho- that's hometown glory that's it yeah all the words she says in that song are so crazy like the way she says memories is insane <laughs> may memories may and maury's uh, do you ever get insecure about no <laughs> <laughs> sorry go ahead that was rude what does the question do you ever get insecure about how Maya and I only talk about ex-boyfriends on our podcast? No. It doesn't bother you. No. You heard it here first, listeners. Why do people think I'm insecure? No, no, no. People are just ha- random haters will be like, all they do is talk about their ex-boyfriends. They're still in love with them. And it's like, sometimes I'll tell stories about you, but I'll say one time with an ex-boyfriend because I don't want them to know it was you. Mm yeah that's yeah that's fair but other times i just tell stories about ex-boyfriends because no harm no foul it's your life it's your experience it is my life you can share experiences from your life i think that's fine you think so yeah it doesn't bother you it doesn't make me insecure i'm I'm not very insecure i think um i had learned insecurity for a bit and then i had to unlearn it how what do you mean because like the ex-girlfriend who cheated on me was like very insecure and like like a jealous type but I think from a previous relationship and then got mad at me once because she was like, you're never insecure about like anything I do. I'm like, yeah, why should I be? Oh, but, cause you just trusted her. Yeah. But as it was like, one should, but from her point of view is cause I didn't care. You weren't jealous. So yeah. you didn't care. But I was like, that's not it. Oh, that's so crazy. So and I had like learned insecurity for a bit and then she cheated on me, which was like crazy. Yeah. That sounds toxic. <laughs> it was. Yeah. But yeah. I'm also just very cool with getting cheated on. I've always said this. Yeah, because you just break up. Yeah, and you never have to, like, wonder if they were the one. Like, they just, you know, they committed the the cardinal sin. I like, no, I liked that it looked like I was touching you, but I wasn't. So I got this. Um, so I've always been cool with that. So that's why I've never been really insecure. And I've always just trusted who I'm with. Yeah, I don't think it's a... The older I've gotten, the less... The less I care. Uh, there's been times in our relationship where I'll get weirdly insecure. Um, but then you give me like a month and I'm usually over it already. I make you insecure? Not you. It's hard when you have thousands of people. No one. This was never meant to be, right? There's never. It was never in human history would there be thousands of people being able to throw their opinions on you at any minute of any day. This is the first time in human history that this is like a thing. And so it's hard to exist under that microscope of people being like, like you'll play a game with Pokimane and suddenly I'll get messages or tags on Twitter being like, Pokey's so much hotter than you, or he has such better chemistry with Pokey. And you're just like, oh my gosh, it's a Tuesday. Like what, uh, what is going on? You know? And so you randomly get a lot of, a lot of insecurity. Delete Twitter. (laughs) It's part of my job. What do you mean? Delete Twitter. Delete it. I can't. It's my or job. Only let your assistant use it. It's my job. Taylor's the only one who has access to your Twitter. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor doesn't even have Twitter herself. She'd be so confused. Actually, Twitter's gone so downhill. I like don't even use it anymore. You are an Instagram fiend. More than I used to be, yeah. Which is almost. You're like on Reels, like a boomer. Well, that's because I don't have TikTok anymore. <laughs> I deleted TikTok too. Yeah, I just you deleted TikTok after I deleted TikTok. It's not a competition. Is a competition. We're all in this together. You know, one of the um one of the campers actually asked me that. They're like, how you and Ludwig are both like uh in your like in the same field but kind of do your own thing. Do you ever feel competition? And I said I said at the beginning I didn't feel competition. I felt just like demoralized, I guess. It was like this weird mix of feeling I think you felt competition and like you had lost it. Yeah. Like, I felt like there was no way I'd ever catch up to you. And that made me feel bad. It didn't make me feel like, like mad at you. It just made me feel like, oh, what am I doing wrong? Um, But then you're like, oh, shit, that's right. I'm doing me. 
Yeah, that's what I said. Drake? Yeah, I quoted Drake. Um, but I did talk, I told her how, um, yeah, like I've realized that I can't. I Number one, I don't need to, com- I, we're just in such, we're just so different that I couldn't, com- it's like competing with a race car versus a Chevy truck. <laughs> I'm the truck, the by truck. the way. And your torque's insane. And if I had to carry a 13,000 pound you load, couldn't I do couldn't. it. But you don't refuse loads. No, I take them from anyone. <laughs> no, no. I'll help no, anybody. You're an exclusive load taker for sure. No, I'll you take You have a small list. I'll help anyone. Any, I'm so kind. Uh, you can take big loads, but from a very small list. No, I'll take anybody. We should talk about your load <laughs> refusal then. Um, But yeah, and so I, I don't know. But have you ever felt we don't work together well? Because we, we have different ways of getting jobs done. We don't work together well. We haven't worked together much. I know. We haven't really given it a college try. Sometimes we've streamed together. That's the only time I've been like... Yeah, you hate me when I play I League of Legends you. with you. I'm just a bit frustrated. Because I feel like you get mad, mad. No, I don't. Also... I feel that way. This is what's interesting. From day one... Day dot day dot when we stream together i my form of showing camaraderie is negging i am a seven-year-old child on the playground and i neg and random and i've always been this way i've Uh always been this way and as we've stayed together and as we've streamed together sometimes we'll stream together and then uh we'll finish and you'll be like why were you so mean to me and i'll be like i was flirting (laughs) which is so embarrassing <laughs> you well you've gotten like mad mad though only at league of legends once league of legends and among us once among us among us because i was over bro was bad you got mad we had to reschedule it remember way back in the day you don't remember this no what we did like a bro versus bro and i was crushing you and i think you weren't like feeling super hot that day and then you were just like you were just out of it like i was just beating you in like three <laughs> and you were just like, you're like, all right, yeah, whatever. Just play the next one. You're just going to win. And I was like, let's just do this another day. <laughs> and we did it like the next day because you just were not um, having it. Uh, Sometimes if you're just not having it, you're not having it. I don't have, you have the superpower of always having it. Well, I would just rather fake it and pretend I have it. And then yeah, I off can't and be fake miserable. it. Yeah, I'm you're like, very honest in how you feel, which yeah, is good. It's, it's like not because I, I never feel good. I think it's like a genuine trait that people latch on to because they like you're being genuine. But I would rather fake it and pretend that I'm 100 and then end it and then like. Ow be miserable than like you know show that i'm not on it's just a difference it's different how it rolls well i'm sorry for that bro versus like pro how many ago. years ago i'm holding on to it holding on to it like coots <laughs> never letting it go no matter what what were we talking about you we're talking about how you're a truck me. who never refuses loads no a race car i'm saying finishes fast we haven't we haven't we work we work very differently you always said I could never be your assistant. You couldn't. You're a hard ass. I am a hard ass. And I'm a, not a good worker. I have a patience level of this. I don't have time to repeat things. I don't have time to touch things twice. See what I mean about hard ass? Jeez. I know. I just don't. It's If I can do it, you can do it. That's how I see it. And if you mess it up and I won't, and I don't mess it up, then that's a problem. My God. I know. See, but you, you have to understand there's a difference. What? And I guess you've always had this, so it's a bit different. I've now. always had this. And that's that's admirable. But you own what you are making. Right. You get everything when it succeeds. Whoever's working for it is just a worker for it. So, like, they shouldn't be committing themselves as hard to this as you would commit to it because there's no reward for that. Yeah, it's their job. <laughs> Yeah, it's their, their job, job is their reward. But their job isn't to go above and beyond. No, their I don't be- expect them to go above and beyond. But if I tell you to paint this wall purple but and you it's would go blue, then I'd be upset. No, no, no. I mean, I would. Yes, in any job, I would go above and beyond. Like You did it at the Gap. You were a, 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 a corpo head. You, wanted, you were climbing the ladder. I will always try to climb the ladder. You talked about your days there? A little bit, yeah. You're a ladder climber. You're a good employee. Thing about me is I was at Best Buy. They, they, they I, I took care of, I had like a section at that because I worked in the mobile section. I had like a section that was mine. I had to yeah, keep you weirdo. And he explained like, this to me one time and my jaw was on the floor. 
Yeah, they'd be like, they'd be like, one, like you're not allowed to sit. It's like part of the fucking job. Yeah. It's like you have to stand at all times. It's like so fucking dumb. And so they're like, yeah, if you're ever like thinking that you can sit, you should go to your aisle and clean it. And I had like an aisle and it was like on both sides. And so like one time my boss was like, clean that aisle. And so I just cleaned like the front half of it and the back half I just didn't fucking touch. It's and she's crazy. like, why did you clean both halves? I was like, you didn't tell me to. It's not my Literally, job. Literally, that is not going above and beyond. That is just doing well, a go, job. I don't go above and beyond. I know. But you're saying bare if, minimum. <laughs> I get paid bare minimum. I do bare minimum. I don't pay bare minimum. Well, I'm telling you about me, not you. I know. I'm not calling but you if my best I were, boy. if I were to pay you, he sexually harassed me. <laughs> What's that like being sexually harassed in the work field? It was weird. He I, tried uh, to grope me. Yeah. Yeah. He well, tried to fuck me. Where? At his place. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Is this a real story? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> you've never told this story. No, I haven't talked about it much. Tell, go, go on. Well, I worked at Best Buy in the mobile department and the department was like two managers and like six, seven employees. And then a few of the guys would go out like on weekends uh -huh. to uh, somewhere downtown LA, usually like to like some fucking tight ass. Uh, the Abbey? <laughs> no, it was like some Latino bar. Uh -huh. I forget the name of it. And because everyone, the guy who worked there was Latino and he lived close. And so we'd go and I went a couple times. And then my boss and like everyone went back to my boss's house to like stay there because he lived close. And, uh, and so like I'm sleeping in the living room and he had his own bedroom. Mm -hmm. And like I'm drunk. I'm trying to pass out. I have my car there at the drive back in the morning. And then he like got out of his bedroom and then got behind me and tried like cuddling me and spooning me. What? Is he yeah. gay? I, well, I found out he was gay right there. Yeah. Oh, well, no, maybe he's, he wasn't. I, he's actually obviously gay. Sorry. I should clarify. He's oh, okay. Gay. But, uh, but he was not openly gay, which is weird. Like he was uh, gay, but he would talk about fucking bitches. Weird. Yeah. And then I went to the bathroom and then I just locked it until he left. And then I went back out and I slept and then I left in the morning. That's crazy. Yeah. You should have just ordered an Uber and gone home. Oh, it's my fault. Victim blaming, are we? <laughs> oh, I should have ordered an Uber. Should have oh looked, I should have looked less snatched that night. Sorry, I looked snatched because I wasn't body. victim blaming. <laughs> For the record, if you've ever had this happen, which I, if you're a lady, you've probably had something very similar to this happen. It's always best to have a plan in your head now because if you haven't had it happen yet, it might happen in the future. Plan in your head now because when it Uber happens in the moment, it's, it's terrifying. So and then I'd have to Uber back to get my car and then I wouldn't even know how to get into the garage. Yeah, good point. It would have been really hard. So I yeah. just waited out the storm. I mean, I was in the bathroom for like an hour. Really? I was in there for a while. How did you know he left? Well, because he was talking the whole time. He was like... He's talking? Yeah, because he was like a, like half apologizing, half telling me to come out. And I was like, I'm good. You just go to bed and I'll come out when you're out. Weird. We never talked about it again. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. You didn't quit the next day? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'd be so uncomfortable. I wouldn't be able to like face him. Uh, I think he was scared to face me after, to be honest. Oh, but we you I gave the wrong vibes. Um, Did you kiss him? No, I don't know. Sometimes you kiss boys. No, you've kissed more boys than me. I don't know if that's true. You've told me this. I'd be saying you're shit. like at smash camp. We used to all kiss each other. That's not true. Yeah. Not. Yeah. You said that. That's not how I'd phrase it. They used to all kiss each other we at smash camp. Sm <laughs> that sounds so gay. <laughs> That's what you do at smash camp. It's not what happens at smash camp. It's just a chill tournament. If anyone wants to go, it's not gay. Like it, like it's not, you got to kiss a guy at camp. Well, I'm but sorry that your best buy boss tried to do that to you. That's right. Should we find him? Do you want me to beat him up? No, I've forgiven him. Bygones be bygones, you know? Bygones be good bygones. Well, thank you for coming on this week's episode of Wine About we It. We got 25 minutes, sweaty. No, sometimes we do hour episodes. What? Yeah. No, you don't. Yes, we do. What are, you, are you tired? Well, I just feel bad. For what? For We're here, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. What do you got for me? What's another Prezzo question? I feel bad because you wanted to stream after this. And this I'm not was streaming today. Impromptu. What? I'm I ruined your stream it's 7 plans? 7.30. I'm not going live. What? What do you mean what? It's 7.30. 
You were going to. I ruined. Did I ruin your day? No, it's fine. What are you looking up wine about it about? Because I'm showing you. Yeah, I don't want to be a stinker hour five episode. No offense. Okay. I want to be a juicy one thirty. Okay, he wants to be a juicy one thirty. Sorry. People want us to keep going. Ride in the streets. I don't know what to talk about. No, okay, maybe we wrap it up then. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't have I didn't have any time to prep for this. I'm. What's something I'm you so want to ask your boyfriend? My boyfriend. On National Girlfriend yeah. Day. On National Girlfriend Day, what do I want to ask my boyfriend? Um, I don't know. Everything's, you never know what you want to, you want to put out there. What is your, what's your, me and Maya always tell ex stories. What's the craziest thing one of your exes ever did? Mine is, did you ever hear one of mine? Well, no. besides the ones that cheated on me a lot. One of the craziest things an ex ever did to me. Um, we were in a very uh, happy relationship. And I say this because like, I didn't think he hated me. Um, mm. But mm. I, uh, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Mm. What? Mm. Keep going. Um, I went to a bachelorette party and I almost never go to bachelorette. I never go to parties. I don't have friends. And so I go to a bachelorette party for like the first time ever, quite literally. And I go out and we drink. It's like my first time like bar hopping and I'm bar hopping and bar hopping, bar hopping. All of a sudden, um, my phone's at 1% and all the girls are dispersing and I'm on the other side of town. I'm 45 minutes away from my house and I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm a little scared to take an Uber that late at night when my phone's going to die because it's like two in the morning or something. And so I call him. And I say, hey, my phone's going to die. I don't really know how to get home besides an Uber, but I'm kind of scared to go on an Uber. So anyway, come pick me up. And he was like, you're a big girl. Figure it out. And hung up on me. And then inevitably, my phone dies. <laughs> um, but luckily, another girl there was ordering an Uber. So I asked if she could just add a stop to mine. Um, and so I get in the Uber with her. We're driving to my house. He, the Uber driver drops her off first and then he's going to drop me off, but goes a different direction than where my house is. So I start panicking. So I'm like, I don't know. I have nothing I can do if this is dangerous. Right. And so I start panicking and I'm like, Oh, I'll just get out here. I'm actually going to stay with her. Like, never mind, Sorry. Sorry. And so he stops and then I get out and then I had to walk home at like three in the morning. It was like six blocks or something like that. And then by the time I got home, um, I, I woke him up and he was kind of mad. And then, um, I was like, I drink in tequila. So I wanted to have sex. And so I, dude, anytime you have tequila, bro, <laughs> I haven't had tequila since then. So I don't know. What you're That's not about. true. Oh, I did have tequila, but I didn't want to have sex. I was projectile vomiting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But tequila makes you horny. Does it? I think so. It's a known thing. It's a known really? party. Tequila does that to humans. I didn't know that. It's an effective tequila. I it's an hate tequila. I, I think, do it's think it's gross. so gross. I think it's very yucky. It's so gross. I don't know how people drink that. But I think it's more of an aphrodisiac than like whiskey. Well, then maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. I, I mean, it's a happier drunk. Yeah. But I so but then I like tried <laughs> tried to have sex with him, but then karma was I threw up everywhere. But then he was even more mad at me. I was like, it's not like I'm a ruckusy girl that goes out and then has your boyfriend come save you at two in the morning. I've never done that before. And he wouldn't come save me. And it was kind of mean. Yeah. That was a crazy thing that he did. That's crazy. Yeah. I'd save you, man. <laughs> Thank you. I also never go out. So I'd save you, you don't have to. If you go out, I'd save you. Except for the one time I did go out was for um, Timmy's birthday and I almost got freaking kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Remember? What? What? Sorry, jog me. It was Timmy's birthday. It was around Halloween. I don't know where you were. You were out of the country somewhere. Out of the country? Um, yeah. I was definitely home alone. You were definitely with the yard out of the country somewhere. England, okay. maybe. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Um, I go to Timmy's birthday and I, I go to leave and the Uber driver pulls up and he's like calling me and I answer and he's like, I'm here. And I was like, I don't see you. And he's like, yeah, I'm the black car. And on my thing, it does say a black car. And I go, oh, the license plate doesn't match. And he's like, just get in. And I was like, no. And he like gets out of his car to start like telling me to get in. I was like, I'm no, like I'm not, I'm not getting in. And I went back into the party and waited till he left and then ordered another Uber. Crazy. Yeah. I remember I was yeah. texting you that I was like, cause then, then it was weird. LA man. Um, so then I ordered another Uber. Uh, it comes and picks me up. We start driving away. And then as we're driving away, he's like the ride canceled. And I'm like, what? And he was like, 
Do, will you just Venmo me instead? And I was like, but then it's scary because you don't have the Uber app watching you. And I was like, uh, no, I'll just order another one. He's like, no, we'll just keep driving. So I'm like trapped in the car. I was like holding my taser the whole drive home. I've had that happen. I've also canceled on an Uber driver once. That was horrible. While you were in the car? How? Because I was trying to like, like force close out of the app because I had like directions open and the Uber app open. So I was like, oh, end directions, force close out of app. And then I like subconsciously ended Uber force close out of app. Mm not thinking about it and he's like he's like immediately he's like you canceled on me and i was like i did not mean to do this sir and then i just i was like i'll Venmo you and he's like he's like yeah you will you will and he's like let me oh going. my god it was, it was, it was scary like, it was fine but i felt bad yeah people probably do that all the time yeah yeah i think uh you that's scary for the ubers yeah it was scary um you couldn't save me that day i couldn't i think i was in maybe london I'm I on. think you were. I should have just. I'm, I'm on. I should have. I was gonna say I should have stayed at a friend's house downtown, but the pets. So never yeah. mind. I should have not gone. Well, no, you Skewy. should. Have, you should. The, the Uber driver should have been normal and not weird. Skewy. That's what should have happened. Um, I. Weird X story. Yeah. Oh, and okay, so, for context. In mm-hmm. high school, I told this before, but in high school, give us a new story. Where did you tell this? Before? Well, I haven't told the whole thing. Okay. But in high school, I, I broke bro code. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. The story is actually fucked. Mm-hmm. I've heard this story from the other perspective and you downplay it. Um, well, I don't release details, you know, I don't, <laughs> I just, I gloss. I'll let that. you tell the story. Well, actually you tell it then. No. Oh. Well, okay. In high school, uh, there's this there's a girl. We'll call her Rebecca. And Bex uh, was like someone I've been talking to for a while, and uh, and we've been flirting, and then like thought we were gonna date. Didn't end up working out. Whatever. Bex starts dating my friend. Your best friend. Best friend. <laughs> best friend and Bex date. And they date for like a while, like two years. Yeah. Bex and best friend break up. That like same week, Bex hits me up. <laughs> so bad. And then me and Bex chat up. And then like second week hanging out, me and Bex hook up. And bear in mind at the time, I'm a virgin. Mm-hmm. And then Bex is like, what if we do the deed? so fun. And I'm like I've never done the deed that girl's a player and then we're both nude naked uh-huh. you and saw her naked yeah we're about to have sex and then very last second I'm like mm, we shouldn't do this wow and he that, has a conscience and then we don't have sex uh-huh. and then we kind of stop like chatting and then I think Bex goes right back to best friend and then Trauma. best friend is like we're are you and i'm at work so i'm like i'm at work he's like, i'm gonna come beat your ass oh god and then we uh he doesn't come <laughs> and we don't talk much uh-huh. and then we go off to a separate college uh-huh. he goes to college in new hampshire i go to college in arizona uh-huh. they get back together oh my god now at this point me and bex have been like kind of talking like like throughout some parts of high school. Yeah. Like sometimes talking, sometimes not talking. Yeah. When I go to Arizona, I stop talking to Bex. Yeah. You're, you're ready. You got AZ girls. I'm a new man. I'm an AZ. I'm not talking to Bex anymore, uh-huh. but I go back for like Christmas winter break, break yeah. something like that. And I go to UNH to like hang out with people. Cause uh-huh. a lot of people who went to my high school are in UNH and my best friends there. Uh-huh. And, and like we see each other first time in a long time. Uh huh. And he was like, I thought when I saw you, I'd want to beat your ass, but I just miss you. And we hug. Uh-huh. We bro out. Uh-huh. Guess who starts hitting on my line? Oh, God. Bex. Drama. And I'm like, hey, man, you should know this. I've been very good boy. Bex has been hitting up my line in preparation for me coming. Uh-huh. And she's admitting feelings to me. And I'm not reciprocating. Uh-huh. And he was like, and... Then that night, Bex goes crazy. 
What do you mean? Like, <laughs> she's like furiously messaging me. Uh huh. She's basically kind of trying to break up with my best friend and try to get with me that oh night. Oh my god! And then I think she realizes that's going to be a failure, and then is trying to get back with the best friend. And he's like, mm. "Yeah." And at some point, because she finds me, she's like, "She's like, if you don't." She says something to the effect of like, if you don't talk to me, I'm going to jump off this bridge. Wow. She's standing on a bridge, bro. The bridge two feet. high. <laughs> You're like, do it. <laughs> I didn't say do it, but I was like, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. Like the bridge is, it's like a small little, like one of those cute gazebo bridges. That's so crazy. And I'm like, she's just drunk. And I'm like, yeah, you're being, you're being weird. And then I leave, uh-huh. go back to Arizona. Bex and best friend break up officially. Of course, as they should. Come to find out, Bex, maybe a month later, finds a new guy, marries him. Almost instantly. Almost like, like finds a new guy within a month, marries him within like four months. Jeez. And best friend finds a girl, gets married, they have a kid. He's happy. And that was, that was, that was weird. Bad me. Bad weird, you. Weird girl. Weird, probably weirdest girl I've like. I didn't even, Is she I, still married? Think. I don't know. I've never looked her up. You're different than me. I know what every single one of my exes is doing right now. Besides maybe one of them. I mean, I've looked up my exes at some points. Like I looked her up. Sometimes I just get bored and I'm like, what are they doing? Ago, but I stopped doing that. I don't care. And you're not even slightly interested. No. That's so weird. <laughs> I mean, like, I hope they're happy. I hope they live a good life. And yeah. I'd be, like, curious if they divorced. I'd be like, oh, wow. Like, if I heard. Yeah. But, like, I'm not going to go out of my way. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, try to. Because I, I don't even have my Facebook login. I'd have to, like, figure out how to log into Facebook. They use Facebook? I guess if they'd be on Instagram. I guess I don't actually know where all my exes are. I can. I have guesses. All my exes are, like, my O's with the V's in the middle. Only one of my exes has gotten is engaged everyone else single as hell yeah i had an ex who's engaged i don't know if they're married i don't know i i had an ex get married directly after me and then get divorced divorce rates are high divorce rates are high it's tough would you sign a prenup if i asked you to yeah good you're not taking a penny of mine <laughs> or my cat. Yeah. If, the, if Coots is in the prenup, we're going to talk. Um, wow. That's a, that is an interesting story mm-hmm. from the other side of the story of that is his best friend's dad was like, yeah, they were like, I didn't think they'd ever even talk ever again. Yeah. I mean, it, it was like f- bad for the friendship, you know, but um, time heals all wounds. Time heals all wounds. Distant makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah. And other cliches. Yeah. <gasps> what? Oh my God. What? I'm just remembering. Oh, Mrs. B. What? Messaged me because she had a f- like this friend over that was a fan. I was supposed to FaceTime her, but I was busy that day and I never replied. And it was like three weeks ago. Oh my gosh, you monster. Oh my god. Message her right now. Fucking hate. What the heck? Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to get a second phone. Me too. And I'm only going to tell like seven people about it. Oh my god, I missed this. I'm I'm going to get a second phone only cuz I just need to a uh, one to stream from and I want a work phone and then another phone. And a work phone and a personal phone. Yeah. I need yeah, cuz like Streamers are cool and I'm friends with some streamers. I want a phone number for like my mom and that's it. And it, you know, and like, and like my girlfriend and like people I love dearly, but not like streamers and like work, you know? And there's like a weird conflation of streamers and friends and that's great. And I'll still reply, but like, I need a phone. That's like, you got to reply and it should be for family and my girlfriend. And that's it. Don't say it like that. You my said sister. it like I'm not actually on that list. No, I said it because the first time you, well, you were obviously on this list anyway, but I said it because it's the first time you made a look. I know because I'm not on the list. 
I literally message you more than anyone. You're so cringe. Um, I, uh, I actually at streamer camp, one of the advice that I gave to people, cause they were like, how do you make friends in the space? And I was like, don't, I said, everyone is a professional relationship. I know. Yeah. I mean, I do think there's a difference between a streamer friend and a friend friend. I've always said that. Yeah. But I, I think, think it's, it, you set yourself up for disappointment if you don't know the difference. Yeah. And so I, I explained them that I gave them examples of like what that is. Um, and why it's important. I mean, tough talk coming from someone who's best friends, Maya Higa. Yeah, I know. But she doesn't even want to stream. It's true. I don't even stream. All I she stream wants to do is a, make snow cones month. like shit. She made such bad snow cones. Yeah, she is kind of bad. You at don't know it. how to make banana syrup and everybody's laughing. There were so many easy. So she just had a YouTube video come out. And whenever she has, I watch them in the living room with Ludwig. And she made a banana snow cone for the monkeys. And yeah. it's so silly because all she needed to do was freeze the banana and then put the banana in the snow cone machine. And it would have been perfect. The monkeys knew it because they peed in the snow cone because they thought it sucked so much. But and then instead she did the She used ice and then she was like, I'll make banana syrup. And she just mushed up banana in water when she could have just like boiled banana and it would have turned into more syrupy consistency. So many ways you could have done it. Maya or Higa. she could have blended it. We're but all she, mad. she didn't want to. We're all mad. I guess. But it pissed me off. The monkeys deserve more. Schlatt will get his revenge. Also, Ludwig wants his monkey painting. Yeah. Stop scamming me, dude. First, the shroud thing. She sends me this nice message. She's like, thanks so much for like, oh, studying Talvez. I'm like, cool, bitch. Where's my monkey painting? I didn't say that, but I wish I did. I wonder where it is. I wonder maybe she'll bring it. She's a scammer. She's not. Then what is she? She's my friend. Oh, that's sweet. She's my friend. Do you have anything else you want to say on air? Mm. Do you have anything you need to shout out? Yeah. You know, I've never told me any crazy college stories. Me? I've never told you any of my crazy college yeah, stories. Yeah, do you have a crazy college story? I tell you about story? a threesome I had. No. He didn't have a threesome. Save that one for off the pod. He didn't have a threesome. Oh, my. He was a foursome. He didn't have a foursome. It was a fivesome? You've never... You're lucky if you get a twosome. Uh, what about that one time that I got... Pff, fuck. I'm trying to think of something cool I did. I did improv. What do you want from me? I don't even know your dating timeline of your entire life. Did you know that? What? I don't know how it works. Dated three people. I thought it was four. It's probably five. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, dated a girl in middle school. Dated a girl in middle school. Dated a girl in high school. She was a year older than me. Dated a sophomore. Sheesh. Sheesh. Talked to a couple other girls, never official. Dated a girl in college. Dated another girl in college. I think I dated three girls in college. Did. I guess if, I, I, I saw a few. I saw like. He saw them. I saw. I mean, saw seeing some seeing someone's different than dating. Were someone. you a player? No. Were you? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You're a flirt. Sure, but I've only ever hooked up with four people in my life. Like, can then you really be a player with those numbers? The stat sheet just doesn't add up. You can't say, like, I'm a starter when I'm putting up bench numbers. You know what I mean? So. I don't know. I think I, like, officially dated, I don't think that's like, a bad four number. or five people. Are you insecure about your number? No, I like my number. I think Would my you like chill. it to be higher? I don't like anything to happen. I like my life. I don't, like, need arbitrary statistics to change about it. I'm just, and that's why I'm asking. I like my life. My life be like, ooh, wah, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. Um, and that's my day in life. <laughs> Heard it here first. All right. Well, what do you need to shout out? <laughs> uh, shout out Moist Moguls. You can get Moist Moguls merch. At, at moistmerch.com. Hold up. Just distract us. Look at this Velcro I, I found. It's on that shelf. Where the hell did Yingo put it? It's on the shelf. Yingo! It's on the shelf. Yingo! Oh. 
Check it out. Was those on sale? Yeah, they're on sale. Moist moguls. Are they selling well? No. So please uh -oh. buy the Moist Moguls merch. I haven't even seen you tweet. The it. money, well, because I just got a sample. The money goes Wait, it's, are you to sure? the players. Are you sure it's on sale then? Yes. Moistmerch.com. Get your Moist Moguls merch. You haven't even tweeted it? No. Okay, well, that's why it's well, No, I have tweeted it. Sorry, I have. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, get your merch. Get your merch. That's it. Um. All right, well, thank you for coming on. Thank you for being my co-host for the day. Happy National Girlfriend Day. Thank you. So much tanner. <laughs> Is that crazy? I'm so white. Do you get in? Do you get insecure that you're so much more good looking than me? No, I think you're actually super attractive. I think you're 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 like. If Aphrodite. you look at the camera right now, we look like like I shop at Albertsons and you shop at Erwan. I wouldn't want to date someone if they look like they shop at Erwan. That sounds like the biggest insult in the world. <laughs> do you look like you shop at Erwan? <gasps> You look like fancy. You look like I don't think that's like you look like typical handsome. I look like You keep using this term, typical handsome. Find me in the handsome. back of a coffee shop. I think you're a hot mama wolf. You never say mama. <laughs> well, I was trying to sound like Johnny Bravo. So gross. Ew, Not like a mother. I hated it. Uh, I think you're attractive. Woof. I just get nervous when I look at Bring. when I look at this. <laughs> when I look at this freeze frame right here. You look like uh, Aphrodite in the painting Aphrodite. And she's beautiful. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, boy. Okay. Well. Thanks for watching. Even your recording. fingers are. Look at your fingers are. Bro, do that again. Shut up. Look how tan. I'm, I'm just tan. Tan's not oh, necessarily oh, attractive. It's just a feature. It's not that big uh, a deal. All right. See you guys later. See you on the bonus episode. I think it's just going to be me. Bonus. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Q&A with Cutie. Tune in. She's going to reveal her deepest, darkest secrets. I don't think I'm going to do that. Whoa. But I'm going to do something. All right. Last Thanks for watching. Than Maya. <laughs> Loser.